Deep within Manhattan Correctional Facility, Cletus Cassady, prisoner, is the lone inmate of a supervillain sublevel. Anti-symbiote defenses prevent his transformation into carnage. Mocking guards outside, he's a rebellious presence in his high-tech cell. As a janitor approaches, one of the guards opens the first layer of anti-symbiote defenses, cautioning him about the fate of the previous janitor who got too close. The janitor assures them he'll only come as close as necessary. Revealing himself to be Eddie Brock, he allows the Venom symbiote to consume him, mockingly asking Cletus if he's missed them. Surprised, Cletus tries to transform into Carnage, greeting Venom and questioning if they've come to free him. Venom hisses, indicating that Cletus possesses something that rightfully belongs to him. Venom announces its intention to extract the Carnage symbiote, its own offspring, from Cletus's body to merge it back into itself. Taken aback, Cletus smirks as he notices the guards aiming at Venom. As Venom effortlessly subdues the guards, Cletus objects, claiming it should be impossible. Sneering, Venom mocks at the ineffectiveness of sonic weapons and flamethrowers against him now, and proceeds to deactivate the sonic barrier separating him from Cletus. Terrified, Cletus suggests they team up, but Venom refuses, grabbing onto the Carnage symbiote. With a scream, Cletus watches as Venom forcibly tears the Carnage symbiote from his body. While Cletus kills without discrimination, Venom claims to only target those deserving of punishment. Consuming the Carnage symbiote, Venom unexpectedly develops a case of the hiccups. Later, Venom checks a to-do list that includes tasks like dealing with his landlord, wrecking the Daily Bugle, and several reminders to take care of Spider-Man. Curious about J. Jonah Jameson's whereabouts, Venom swings away into the night on his web. Alone in the dimly lit apartment, Peter wonders whether he should wait for MJ to return home to apologize for being insensitive about their needs and missing their second honeymoon. As he climbs onto the roof, he sees Venom right away. Peter hurriedly returns to his apartment and puts on his costume, wondering why powerful figures like the Punisher haven't stopped Venom. At the Daily Bugle, J. Jonah Jameson scolds everyone nearby for not working hard enough. A muscular man carrying a water jug asks where to put it, and Jameson tells him to put it wherever. The man, Eddie Brock, grips the jug so tightly it cracks, then transforms into Venom and pours its contents on the people around him. Snatching Jameson, Venom blames him for ruining Eddie Brock's journalism career. Jumping out the nearest window, Venom says he's going to kill Jameson, and carries him to Our Lady of Saints Church. Landing on the bell tower, Venom mocks Jameson, saying he'll spare him if he can climb down by himself. As Jameson starts to slip, Venom urges him to hurry, saying he's got places to be and people to kill. Just before Jameson falls, Spider-Man catches him with webbing and kicks Venom in the face. Venom thanks Spider-Man for saving him the trouble of finding him. Noticing Spider-Man's silence, Venom taunts him, asking if he's scared and if he can tell Venom is stronger than before. Venom extends his claws and blames Spider-Man for most of Eddie Brock's troubles before hitting him in the face. Dodging Spider-Man's counterattacks, Venom grabs him by the leg and smashes him through the roof of the church. Realizing Venom is too strong, Spider-Man considers running, but knows Jonah would still be in danger. Searching for a solution, Spider-Man kicks Venom away and climbs into the bell tower, ringing the bells as he once did to rid himself of the Venom symbiote. When the bells fail to work, Venom attacks from behind, sneering that he anticipated this and removed the clappers. Slamming Spider-Man into the floor with enough force to shatter the boards, Venom declares his intent to devour Spider-Man entirely, sneering that he no longer cares about his identity. As Venom's hiccups act up again, red veins and tendrils manifest on his body. Venom demands to know why Spider-Man would protect Jameson when the editor has done nothing. Suddenly, Venom starts to hiccup. Annoyed by his indigestion, Venom calls off the fight until the Venom symbiote has fully absorbed the Carnage symbiote, mocking Spider-Man with the knowledge that he could return at any time to finish him off. Climbing down into the bell tower, Jonah notices Spider-Man lying unconscious and thinks about unmasking him. At the Parker residence, MJ arrives to find the table set but no one home. She picks up the ringing phone and hears a mocking voice, threatening that she'll never escape and that he's going to kill her husband. With a gasp, MJ drops the phone and screams Peter's name in terror. 